According to ESPN's Kevin Seifert, the Minnesota Vikings are preparing for the possibility of Sam Darnold being their starting quarterback for the 2024 NFL season, to which I say, as they should, good organizations prepare themselves for all possible scenarios. Will Smith once said in a motivational speech that there's no reason to have a plan B because it distracts from plan A, which I disagree with because putting all your eggs in the basket of plan A, if it doesn't work out, then you end up sitting there looking like a jackass. Regardless of your preference of quarterback, who you want the Vikings to select, We all want the Vikings to trade up and get their guy. However, in order to make a trade work, two teams have to agree to it. You can't force the other team to accept your trade offer. Whether it's because the other team is stingy. Like, for instance, if the Patriots really want four first-round picks or three first-round picks and Justin Jefferson for Minnesota to move up eight spots, well, you can kiss my ass. Or they may want to keep their pick and select a quarterback of their own. You can't force another team to accept your trade offer. The Vikings have the best chance of any team to trade up when it comes to a more than fair offer. Because they have two first round picks. They're the only team that's needy of a quarterback this year that has two first round picks in this year's draft. The only one. And that's far more attractive to have those first round picks now and then a future first instead of a pick swap and two future first down the road. But it could be bad timing because while I do believe the Vikings have the best chance, the, the rumors are that there are anywhere between, and it could just be smokescreen, but for right now, the rumors are Anywhere between five and six quarterbacks that could be taken in the first round. And on top of that, you have, after the first three picks that could very well go QB, you have an additional four teams that are trying to get a quarterback as well. So that means some team is going to be left out. The additional four teams after Chicago, Washington and New England are the Giants, Broncos, Raiders, and Vikings. So with there being more demand than there is supply at the quarterback position in the first round, that's going to create desperation, which in turn will drive up the asking price. You're going to have to pay above and beyond what you consider fair market value if you want to trade up. Don't be one of those teams. I talked about Ryan Poles and the good job that he has done in Chicago. I want to expand on that. Last year, they had the first overall pick. They could have easily went quarterback. Bryce Young, yep, he's the guy. How many opportunities will you have picking first overall? Obviously, you go quarterback. And they didn't. And you could argue that they didn't because, well, they wanted to see one more year of Justin Fields. Clearly, they had no problem breaking up with Justin Fields. He still has one more year on his rookie deal, very team-friendly, instead of using the first pick in this year's draft on a QB. Man, offensive line, receiver, between picks one and nine, doesn't matter. Justin Fields, you just traded for Keenan Allen. Man, he's going to have a boat. But they decided no. We're, 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 we're going to wait here. Everyone's going gaga over Bryce Young, CJ Stroud. Yeah, we're, we're going to take up now CJ Stroud. He's a good player, clearly. But they said, you know, what? we're going to trade out of that. We're going to give ourselves options here. They traded with Carolina to get DJ Moore, a first round pick that they used on Darnell Wright, a future first this year's draft, which they're going to use on Caleb Williams. They traded, they had the cap space to trade for Keenan Allen. They added DeAndre Swift. Caleb Williams, the job that Ryan Poles has done, the Bears are in a much better situation now, opposed to if they were to have taken Bryce Young with the first overall pick. And it's not even close. 
Caleb Williams is walking into a fantastic situation to where it's like, hey, Matt Eberflus, I- I've done all that I could for this team. It's on you now. Don't feel the need to give up a king's ransom for to at least be able, okay, we're going to at least get one of these guys. We're acting like a quarterback. Quarterbacks taken in any round, but even in the first round. If five or six of these guys go in the first, when was the last time that you had a 100% success rate with quarterbacks in the first round of any given year? When was the last time this happened? We're acting like as long as we get one of these guys, we're set. Some of these guys will fail. Let the other desperate teams, if they want to outbid you, let them outbid you. Sam Darnold, that's a last resort. But if you feel that the guys that you do want are out of reach and you don't want to settle, then you know what? Use your first two picks in the first round and load up this roster, build this team. So that way you can take another shot at quarterback in 2025. And guess what? Those teams that are desperate to trade up ahead of you to get a quarterback, if the rumors are true, Giants, Broncos, Raiders, well, guess what? They're taking themselves out of the quarterback market in the draft next year. Bam. Vikings, go after Shadur Sanders, or we can have that argument later. I'm not saying that I want Sam Darnold to be the guy, but you have to prepare for all possible scenarios. Don't get don't get desperate to where you feel like you have to reach. Because no matter what happens, if you do pull off a trade and you give up just a crazy amount of assets, right? You better be correct. That player, that quarterback, you got to hit. Because if you don't, everybody gets fired. At least you can go to the Wolves and say, we tried. In the 2024 draft, we did everything we could. We tried to trade up with New England. We wanted to give them the two firsts this year, 2025 first, a third round pick in the future, maybe some change after that. They wanted another first round pick or Justin Jefferson. Would you agree to that? Of course not. And that's going to buy you time. Don't get desperate.